Wicked is based on a novel by Gregory Maguire, which is in turn based on Frank Baum's classic, The Wonderful Wizard of Oz. It's the notion of examining the Oz story from the Wicked Witch's point of view. She's this incredible girl who's green and doesn't fit in and is very um, different. There's been some confusion for you see my roommate is unusually and exceedingly peculiar and altogether quite impossible to describe. Blonde. It's also the story of another girl who's born beautiful and popular. Popular. I'll help you be popular. You'll hang with the right cohorts. You'll be good at sports. Know the slang you've got to know. So let's start, because you've got an awfully long way to go. And it's the unlikely relationship between these two girls, one whom we know as the Wicked Witch of the West and the other whom we know as Glinda the Good, that forms the basis of the musical Wicked. Glinda and Elphaba really begin a beautiful friendship. Coming from these different backgrounds, they find a very strong bond. This musical is about these two women finding each other as friends and how they affect each other. It's unusual to have really anything be about that. Who can say if I've been changed for the better? I do believe I have been changed for the better. I was developing the novel as a film project. And one day, Stephen called me and said, I understand you're developing a film based on Wicked. Did you ever think of turning it into a musical? A light bulb went off in my head, and I thought, that's what's missing. Something just clicked, you know, and I, I had a kind of idea of what this sounded like, and that really didn't change. Yeah, I had known Winnie from her work on a show that she created called My So-Called Life. It felt like the perfect marriage of writer to material. And luckily, I think we were all picturing pretty much the same show, which in itself is, <laughs> is like a miracle. I had sent Joe the script on a Friday night, and he called me at 9 o'clock Saturday morning, uh, which is not usually when Joe wakes up. From the first moment that I read it, I found it incredibly uh, gripping and, and delightful and ingenious the way that they had married this story into what we know about The Wizard of Oz. One of the places we were most careful in the writing was to never contradict the movie at all. It's as if, you know, you're seeing the scene in the film, but the camera just goes like that and says, but this is what was happening over here. I have finally heard back from the wizard, and my dear, he wishes to meet you. He asked for me, personally. 